I'm so keen on the pizza idea. I will just give an example. Uh, let's have a pizza order, uh, which has a. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to do really bad practicey things here. Um, yes, I will just say that a pizza order has a list of pizzas, um, and we will have a pizza, and it will have a size. I'm just going to put this here because it's easy. Um, small, medium, large, and public uh, size size get set so in reality I love immutability I would definitely have um, immutable things here uh, let's have enum crust and let's have thin stuffed and um, regular Okay, so we can create um, a number of pizzas, and now we will have a uh, pizza discount, which I'm just going to make a delegate type for the moment. Okay, I'm also going to give a pizza a price. Okay, and now so we've got we've got a a discount thing. Uh, we're going to say uh, public decimal uh, calculate uh, price. So. The idea is that pizzas all have prices, um, but you can get a discount on some orders. And I'm going to, in fact, I'm not going to put this in the order itself. I'm going to put this in the ordering system. Um, which is going to be given a uh, pizza discount calculator. Um, in its constructor, uh, I'm actually going to call this a discount policy. Uh, this is the problem with coming up with examples on the fly. <laughs> um, yeah, fine. Right. Okay. So. So an order doesn't really have a discount policy. This was where I was trying to say let's uh, let's put things in the right place. Um, and this dot discount policy equals discount policy. Right. So now we're going to public uh, decimal compute price. We're not going to make this a, a um, property because we might have to do things in order to compute it. So. Let's start off with the non-discounted, uh, and we're going to compute the price of a pizza order. So, order dot uh, sum, uh, order dot pizzas dot sum rather, p, p dot price, and then we will say discount value. And we're just going to ask our discount policy, what are you going to do, please? And we'll return non-discounted minus discount value. And now we get to work out how we're going to uh, build a discount policy. And you see, this is where I don't know what ordering a pizza is like in the US. But in the UK, you get uh, a takeaway pizza menu um, that has all kinds of things on on the back. So I'm going to create a, a static class here, uh, policies. And this will just have a bunch of methods, each of which has the same signature as 
discount policy so we can create instances of this delegate. So how about we'll have two for one or, or uh, buy one, get one free uh, pizza order, order. And so we might apply um, several uh, this several times within one order, but I'm just going to say that um, whatever the cheapest order in the, pe the cheapest pizza in the order is, it's free. So you only get one discount, even if you're buying lots of these. Um, it's got to be static. So uh, if order dot pizzas, well, let's bar pizzas equals order dot pizzas. Um, if we've only got one of them. less than two, <laughs> um, then there's no discount available. Uh, otherwise, uh, so we're just going to find the minimum price of the pizza, and that will be the buy one, get one free. Um, let's also have a 5% um, off more than $50. And now we're going to um, take our pizza order again, which I suspect everything's complaining because we've not made everything public. And I think everything needs to be for the bits I put, uh, at least the discount policies. Right. Okay. So now we're going to, and unfortunately this means doing rework. So, hey, maybe we would consider moving things into the pizza order class itself because um, we're going to in fact just cut and paste uh, so even though we say more than it's going to be more than or equal to if we've got more than or equal to 50 um, So that gives us 5% off. Otherwise, you get nothing. And what else might we have? Um, uh, $5 off stuffed crust. So for every stuffed crust pizza, we'll say um, pizzas.sum p goes to uh, pizzas. Um, if it's a stuffed crust, so for each order, uh, for each pizza that's a stuffed crust, we make another five uh, five dollars onto our um, discount. Otherwise, for each non Stuff crust pizza, it's just nothing. Right, so now we have what, uh, three different policies. What are we going to pass to our pizza ordering system? I think we should have a policy that knows about other policies and picks the best one. Um, so we're going to uh, give this class um, just a list of discount policy policies um, and uh, so we'll need a construct of this again you know taking I enumerable might be better here I really don't care right now um, that's not the point of this exercise and now if we have a decimal compute policy um, for pizza order. And do you know what? We can just use link again because it's so great. And I'm going to explicitly call invoke here instead of... You know, that's absolutely equivalent to doing policy order, but I think that's a, a little bit odd. Um, so here we have just find me the maximum discount, you know, you can't apply more than one of these discounts for any one order. 
mm-hmm. and you know, maybe we could have a best two discounts thing that would apply two of them. But let's let's ignore that for the moment. We have created something we'll, which will, by delegation, uh, compute the maximum and return that as the discount. And if we wanted to, instead of having just one delegate, we could have an interface saying what's your name and what's the value. You know, the name would have to uh, be part of the computation as well. It could get interesting. Composition can throw up challenges. Mm-hmm. Um, but, uh, but this shows how, how powerful it can be. Um, in case you are wondering whether this all seemed a little bit antiquated, building a delegate by... So you would create new best discount with all your policies and then uh, the delegate from compute policy. We could have uh, a thing. We can't, we can't implement the whole delegate in one method, but we can create something that returns a discount policy. Uh, create best um, and that would take an Oh, let's make it unenumerable this time. Discount policy policies. And use just a lambda expression to say return given an order. I'm going to return this. Um, and discount policy itself is needs to be public. And now elsewhere, you could write um, discount policy equals policies dot create best uh, policy. In fact, let's just check that it actually works. Um, discount all the pizzas. Uh, policies.create, or in fact we can just call create best, and pass in using method group conversions, hopefully, buy one, get one free, uh, $5 off stuff crust, and uh, what was the other one? Uh, sorry, $5 off stuff crust, and 5% and we can just return that. And it's whinging. Why for you whinge? Create overload, create best. Oh, yeah, okay. How about new? That's not going to work either. Oh, I hate you all. No, we can fix this. <laughs> we can fix this using uh, discount policy params. Discount policy. There we go. Right. And Reshop is going to whinge because it doesn't know the meme. Um, but there we go. So now we could, when we create our pizza ordering system, maybe you'd hook this up with IOC. Uh, you call discount all the pizzas. It creates a best one from these three. And the pizza ordering system has no idea that there's all this clever stuff going on under the hood. All it needs to know is, oh, I've got this order. What's its total price? What's the discount? Here's the bill. I like it. So composition rocks. Um, Strategy pattern rocks, delegates rock, lambda expressions rock, uh, method group conversions rock. There's lots of good stuff in here.